What's up guys, this episode I'm gonna be showing you how to use the tricks editor inside your admin area and specifically using a gem called administrate. Now most of this is gonna to apply to whatever you're using, but administrate is my favorite admin gem right now because number one, it's mostly just creating scaffolds for you, but number two is it has a special thing called fields. So each field, um, like a string, an integer, a text area, whatever that is, date time, you have the ability to create different types of fields, which will denote in the admin how to create the form for that field, how to display it in the show page, and how to display it on the index. And you get to choose how you wanna format those things, and you can create your own field types, which we're gonna do for tricks to embed that and administrate. So let's dive into this. So first things first, let's install um, the administrate gem. Now I've already installed tricks and I've included it in your application JS and your application CSS. Um, but administrate is separate. Your admin areas are generally totally separate where they'll have their own application JavaScript and CSS and they'll be named whatever they might be named like admin CSS or whatever. But we'll dive into that in a minute. Um, let's get this gem installed. So let's run bundle to install it and then run rails generate administrate colon install. This is going to set up the gem, create routes for the admin area, and then create our default dashboards um, for our models that we currently have. So if you add models later, you'll have to add them later as well. But uh, I wanna point out here, you can do Rails G administrate dash dash help. Um, and this, or you can just do Rails G dash dash help. Um, this is going to print out all of the administrate generators here. What we're specifically looking for is the administrate assets and field. So we're gonna install the assets to our application. We're gonna customize them a little bit by adding tricks to it. And then we're gonna create a special tricks field that we can use in our admin area. And we don't really care about the rest of these things. That is what you can use to tweak some of the views and different things for your resources. But we really only care about tweaking the fields and adding this additional one. So let's run Rails Generate Administrate Assets while we're here. And that's going to install all of these assets from the gem into your application. And we're gonna go customize that to add in uh, tricks there. But the other thing that we want to do is we want to generate administrate field. And if you run this without any options, you will see the output here. We need to give it a name. So we're gonna generate an administrate field as well. This one we're just gonna call tricks and it will append underscore field at the end of that um, for us. And that will create an app fields tricks field file, which we can take a look at. So if we open up app fields, we will see that there's just a two string method here and it inherits from the administrate field base. Now this doesn't really tell us too much about how all that works, but when we go into index for the field of the tricks field, you will see that it calls this object. So field is actually that tricks field object and the two string method is called on it which we give it the data, which you can assume is the value um, from your model. And the same thing goes with show by default, it just prints it out. And our form prints out a text field with the field attribute, and then that data gets automatically added to it. So nothing too special, but let's take a look at how to add the CSS and JavaScript to administrate so that we can change this field up in the form to include tricks. So diving into your application CSS or SCSS, we wanna remove one key thing here and that's the require tree. This is going to give you some problems because we've copied in all of the administrate CSS and JavaScript into our asset pipeline. And so if you require tree here, it's going to try to include all of administrate in your main application CSS. Now that's kind of okay, but the thing is we don't need it. None of our users are going to be able to access the admin. And so these files are already being compiled separately. We'll have an application CSS for all of our regular users. And then our admins, when 
they visit administrate, they will see the admin CSS and that will be included and compiled separately. That's all taken care of inside of the gem. So we just wanna make sure that our application CSS does not include administrate in it. And same thing with our application JS. So you wanna require tree, get rid of all of those. And you wanna manually require anything like tricks or any of your other files. So if you wanted to include um, cable.js or post.coffee, include and require those manually inside of your files. So from here, we can go into the administrate application.js. Now it's going to have a required tree. That is okay because it's going to only include stuff from its administrate folder. Um, that is fine. And so then here we can add something like require tricks. Um, the easiest thing might be to put this at the very bottom. So if they make modifications to it, um, you will see tricks is at the very bottom for you. Um, same thing with the application CSS. So let's pull that up. Their application CSS imports all of this stuff. Let's also, um, well, we can either do the asset pipeline require tricks up here at the very top, which is what I'm going to do, or you could import it, say at the very bottom as well. Now we're going to use the asset pipeline include up here, and that will take care of including that for us. Now we can go to our form and add the tricks editor like it would be for, but this time we're gonna say field attribute um, is going to be the name of this, and we're going to then modify the ID that is automatically generated. We wanna just call it field.attribute as well. So the reason for that is that we just want to make sure that our field attribute names match exactly, and by specifying both here, we can know that they will match every single time and they won't be duplicated across our uh, other attributes in the form. So let's take a look at this. We have the tricks uh, form. We have our post dashboard, which is going to render the body as field text and we can see that here, we get a text area, we can expand it, but what we really want now is to change this to tricks field so that we can render our new fields. And if this goes well, you'll see this has loaded the JavaScript, the CSS, and the tricks field of the tricks editor and all of that. Now we've kept this as a text field up here, and we can go through and delete all of that, we can undo, and we'll see that that is working, which means we can go back to the form and change this from a text field to a hidden field. Um, and we just wanted to do that to confirm that our JavaScript was working, and it is. So all of that works, we should be able to go and do something like, let's unbold all of it, let's update the post, we'll see no strong tags anymore. If we edit the post, it's all unbolded still. But as you might have noticed, this isn't really the easiest way to check the formatting. And so maybe it would make sense for our show view to actually sanitize the HTML and print that out. Um, and so now we get the formatted version of that printed out in the show. But our index probably doesn't need the formatting and really we don't need the entire body anyways. So what if we're going to do something like truncate the field um, for the post index. And so there you go, you see it now has an ellipsis and that truncates to the default length of the body. And one cool thing is that if you wanna apply this to any other fields on any other model, you can simply change their field type to your new custom field type. And that is going to make it so when you edit, uh, your title now is in the tricks editor as well and it will be displayed everywhere else in the admin at the exact same uh, formatting as the body. So it would sanitize it on the show view and all of that good stuff. But um, because that's not something we wanna do for our title, we're gonna move that back to field string. So that goes to show you how easy it is to add custom JavaScript and field types to your Administrate admin area. And that's one of the reasons why I like Administrate so much is because I can do this stuff very, very quickly in the admin and change it around and tweak things and make adjustments without having to do too much digging into the controllers and the views and customizing all of that stuff. It works really nicely and as you saw here, it might even be possible to pull out a nice little gem for this so that you could include tricks 
um, editor into your administrate admin with just including a gem so you can make this reusable and include that in other places. I will leave that as a challenge to one of you guys so if you're interested in that see if you can take what we did in this episode and pull it out into a gem and make that something we can share and other people can use. So until next episode I will talk to you guys later. Peace.